welcome. I am Gretchen and this is my friend Tamson and we are on our Revolution War era farm at the American Revolution Museum at Yorktown and today we're going to talk a little bit about hand carding wool. So come on, let's get started. Ready? <laughs> well welcome again everyone. I wanted to introduce you to some of our wonderful volunteers here. This is Ruth Ann and her lovely granddaughter Tamson you met but also her little sister Evelyn and they're going to help us out a little bit today because carding is one of those things, um, I think the thing I like most about carding and spinning in the 18th century is that so many women had it in common. And so um, indigenous women who are maybe now um, wearing a more European textiles, but in a native fashion would be spinning and carding, enslaved women, impoverished women, the middling sort, um, even gentry women would have knowledge of this. Now, depending on who you are, might determine how often you are doing carding and spinning. Um, but my friend Tamsin here just turned four years old, and so she might have started carding as early as two years ago. And because she doesn't have long enough legs to reach the treadle on a Saxony wheel, or maybe not tall enough for the walking wheel, maybe she doesn't have the dexterity for a drop spindle yet, but what she can do is card. And carding is really just the brushing or organizing of fibers. We're gonna do wool today. And these are modern cards and modern cards are either curved um, like this or sometimes flat. And they have little, um, what I call staples, but would be called teeth or tines. And modern cards have more of a rubber that it's pushed through, but in the 18th century, it would be leather. And um, what's great about this is you just kind of load up the cards and start brushing. So I'm, you can overload the cards, which you don't wanna do because it's gonna be harder to, um, to brush it out. And you don't wanna do too little either because then you'll just have to keep doing a lot of it. But this is a great chore um, or skill for little boys and little girls to learn, even though spinning is kind of for girls and women. Carding is good for little boys or girls and they can kind of help keep up with their older sister that might be spinning or their mother or their grandmother. So all we're doing, we're not digging the, the teeth into each other. We're really just kind of gently pulling those cards or brushes over the fiber. Do you want to try to? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's nice about the curved one is that you can kind of set it on your leg. So we're going to set that one there. She's going to hold it with her left hand and then she's going to take her right hand and card it together. Okay, you got it. She's got it now. Oh, well done. <laughs> it is. They do get stuck together, don't they? And there's obviously different types of fleeces that you would be using. So some of the finer fleeces, this is lamb's wool, so it's pretty fine, but it's also really curly. And so you might need to go over it more. Sometimes, um, you know, this is going to be done in the grease, meaning it's raw and it hasn't been washed. Thank you. Now I want to put some in. Now you want to what? Put some more in? Okay, let's finish this one up first, and then I'm going to let you put more in. But we got to take it off of there. Well, I'll get some of here. Okay, you get some ready. Or you grab those cards if you want to. Well, you got a lot. She's ready to go. She's going to load that card up. Okay, Papa's gonna sit at the back Yeah, Papa can go somewhere. She can sit there. And if, obviously little children are gonna be with um, their mothers a lot or their grandmothers or their older siblings because that's the safest place for them. And so pretty early on, you're gonna give them chores and um, things to work with. So I was told by the woman that taught me about carding that if you think you're finished, keep keep going, make more passes. But for time's sake, I'm gonna take the end, take that off of there. And some people are really clever about this and they can roll it right off of there with the other card. But I've always taken to kind of rolling it off myself. And now that little tube there is called a roll lag and that's ready to be spun into thread or string or yarn or whatever we need it to be. All right, are you ready to try it? All right, how do you think we should load it up? Maybe a little bit at a time. Perfect. Okay. You got a lot. We don't want too much, right? And we kind of want them to be a little bit in order. And it's never going to be perfect because they're not attached to anything anymore. All right, you ready to try? 
Here, let me take this from you. It smells good, doesn't it? Yeah, it yeah. smells good. Okay. Mm. Are they bite sharp? They're a little sharp. You gotta be a little careful with them. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll get it going. I'm gonna get it going for you. And you can card cotton as well. Um, we do have some cotton cards um, here, but we usually do a lot more wool. And the thing about cards is that you'll see them appear on inventories quite a bit, um, especially in this area where there uh, are quite a few farms that would have people enslaved on them. And so a lot of times if you're looking at an inventory from this time period, you might find uh, textile making devices. So in addition to spinning wheels, you'd find cards and things too. And it's likely that all of the women on that farm, both free and enslaved, would know how to work them. So we've got a pair of cotton cards, and these are not 18th century, but, but a little bit more antique. And the cotton cards have the little teeth or tines a little bit closer together because cotton is finer than most wool. So, but generally you're doing the same thing. And because these are um, vintage or antique, you can kind of see that the, it's leather there. Um, and they're flat on the bottom. But uh, carding cotton and wool is, is virtually the same. You just might have to make more passes. Well, thank y'all for joining us today. If you liked what you saw here, please uh, think about hitting like and subscribe. And better yet, if you're able to come out and visit us, we are open 362 days out of the year and seven days a week. We'd love to see maybe some of your techniques for carding, or perhaps you can try your hand at carding if you never have. Goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. Bill said bye too. In fact, we can do a little clip at the very end where she does some dancing and everybody will think that's funny. But we probably should do our important part first, our serious part first. All right, we ready? Get a little closer. We're going to look right up at the We'll get them too. So in a little bit, I'll introduce them when we, when we do it. Are we ready? Okay. Go ahead. Anytime. Oh no! Here, you want me to take her? What's that? You have your butt. Did you drink? I don't have a drink. Oh well. I was just pretending. Oh wow! It's dancing time. All right, let's do our cotton part, and then we'll be done. And then it's dancing time. All right. Dancing time. Dancing time. All right, or it's almost it's almost time for dancing time. We just got to talk about the cotton real quick, okay?